the third switch. Throw it at K! Throw it! Hi, welcome back. Um, it's been a while. I've had a few things going on, slowed me down in my project. I had to spend a week in Arizona at a conference, and I've changed a couple of things, so I've had to buy new parts, wait for them to come in. That's the way it goes. So, one thing I found out that if you're working with aluminum, this is an invaluable tool. Little thing right here. It's called a carbide burr. It's made for aluminum. If you're like me and your part doesn't turn out quite the way it's supposed to and it doesn't quite fit, this will make it fit. So I think I've got the alt as part of the mount nailed down. So let's go take a look. Okay, here's the alt as portion of the mount. I have a turnbuckle here. It was really loose before. The eye bolt that I have is a little bit larger than the peg going through the turnbuckle. I did find a plastic tubing that was almost the right diameter inside and out, so I put that on there. Still a little bit wibbly wobbly, but I think it's good enough because I have this lock over on this side to lock the altitude when I get it set right. Between, there's a needle thrust bearing that was actually part of this when I took it apart, so I thought I'd reuse that. I think I have enough adjustment on the turnbuckle. It's set to 40 degrees right now, which is my latitude, so if I don't go to Mexico or Canada, I guess I got enough adjustment. And here's the other side. I used the thumb screws from my old mount. Just took some angle aluminum and made some holders for it. Put a big nut in there for them to push against. I think that should work too. Um, it feels pretty smooth moving with that bearing. I actually used my old tripod from my other mount i was thinking about using a camera tripod but this one's way sturdier two inch stainless steel legs and my mini pc is already mounted to it so 
I think we're good to go there. This here is what we in America called redneck ingenuity. Use whatever you got and hope it works, I guess. All right, well, let's put the rest of the mount together. All right. It's kind of put together. The wiring is just kind of haphazard right at the moment. I'm just testing it to make sure everything works. Got it connected to my mini PC. It connected to Nina, so let's see what we can do to it. Okay, got the laptop connected to the mini PC. We are connected. The on-step telescope. Everything looks good. One thing I did do was I noticed when I was putting it together that the bearing actually spins the opposite way as the stepper motor does. So I took a chance. I just reversed both the axes and see how that works. Okay, here goes nothing. So unpark. That worked. All right, we'll go to imaging. We will choose. Yeah, northeast. Let's just try something there. See how it goes. So far, so good. That is the slowest ever. All right. Well. Eventually it'll get there, but it looks like it's pointing northeast. There we go. Alright, let's try something in the northwest. Oh, I guess we're not quite done slewing yet. Okay. Slew northwest. The dovetail is getting awfully close. Oh man, I just barely missed. I guess that's perfect. One last very slow slew. Slow slew, that's a hard one to say. Let's go southeast. That just barely misses. Okay, well, success. I guess we'll see if it'll throw my telescope around like that. Well, I assume that was a good test. Seemed to do what it was supposed to do. So now, I'm gonna tear the thing completely apart and paint it. 
Don't ask me why. Maybe it'll look better. I don't know. But hopefully we get some clear skies here pretty quick. We can get it actually out under the stars. Do some real testing. If you've ever seen a Marvel movie and watched the end credits, keep that in mind. Thanks for joining me. If you're still around and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead. Leave me comments, like, share, subscribe, and buy me a coffee or buy a t-shirt or a hat if you feel like it. So I'll talk to you later and as always, cloud suck. Thank you.